Forensic neuropsychology is not a, a different field from regular neuropsychology, um, but what a forensic psychologist focuses on is making sure that every assessment that is used, every conclusion that is reached is based on um, solid research, solid data, and can be defended, quite frankly, <laughs> um, in a forensic or a legal setting. Um, the difference with that is that a, a neuropsychologist who's working more in a clinical realm is going to be looking much more at what is the what is this assessment, what information does the assessment give us about what we need to do to make your life better, to make you more functional in what you do. What the forensic psychologist is looking more at is what information, what does this information tell us um, that we can defend and demonstrate is a direct result of the injury caused by the event that happened. Um, so very often the tests are not going to necessarily be different. They're going to be the same set of assessments. Um, how they're put together, how they're interpreted are going to be much more structured. There's a lot less leeway for interpretation. There's a lot um, less um, consideration of life circumstance and more what does the test de data tell us directly. Um, what can we, what can we con con conclude about causality? What can we conclude about um, responsibility? What can we conclude about um, specific areas of the brain, perhaps, that may have been affected? Whereas clinically, we may look at that stuff, but we're much more concerned about how does this performance inform how we then frame our rehab and what do we do and um, help you make life decisions. So it's the same kind of tests. It's going to be a little bit more formal, a little less collaborative, um, a little more formal and, and strictly by the book, um, really looking for the goal of being able to, to make a definitive statement about this is what happened, as opposed to make a clinical judgment in terms of what do you need to move forward.